Eastern Standard Time. And we do have the Pyra Mithra on deck here. Let me see here. All right, here we go. We've got Pyra Mithra versus Link, a tale as old as time. Just feeling each other out with a little bit of neutral. Argonaut uh, playing a little bit of a playing a little bit of a more passive style of Mithra, uh, which is very strong in my opinion. Whip Punish Mithra is one of the most broken neutrals in the game. Uh, but Ray playing patient, not over committing here. Looks for a turnaround grab, not gonna find it quite, but uses the insurance policy boomerang there. All right, nice juggle from Argonaut, racking up 49% real quick. And the ledge trapping begins. Both of these characters kind of crazy at ledge. Pyramid of course, for that frame data. You don't have to be as accurate. You can kind of just swing sometimes. Mithra, a character that can just put out hitboxes and uh, juggle you kind of for free. So it's very important to avoid those setups and stay on the ground. Let's see if Ray can close this percent gap a little bit. Only 40% differential here. Oh, coming on in. Oh, yeah, we got Kowtow coming on the mic with me here. You got to love it. I love it. I love the, the non-solo commentary. Hello. Yo, yo, yo. I Kowtow. normally don't like, commentate, but I'm not going to give this one a Oh, we, we appreciate you. Yeah, be sure to yeah, make sure the mic's close enough to your mouth. Right, hold on, wait. OK, y'all can hear me now? They need to hear your insights. OK, yeah. cool. All right. They need to hear your insights on the game. Yo, so, shout out to Kowtow. Uh, we've got Stick Drift 3 coming up yes. literally next week, I believe. Uh, it's going to be December 3rd. You also get to see a lot of friendly faces from RVA Smash coming through with Nomad and Madison providing the duo commentary for one of the blocks. Oh, yeah, the classic, if you will. Yes. As well as several other RVA's best players are going to be there. I believe Ice Bear just signed up, and a couple other people like Griff and um, Money Mike are also going to be there as well. So yep, it's a great it event. I really enjoyed it last time. Great venue, and of course, uh, stacked talent. Got players like Puff A and uh, Bacon and Sova, so just a very right. strong region. Really as well cool. as several other players that are coming in from the rest of uh, the MDVA region, as well as North Carolina and South Carolina. Yes, yeah, so if you want to get your cheeks beat, come to Stick Drift 3. But anyway, we got 170% on Ray here. Staying alive. R Rage Link is very scary. That forward arrow takes stocks near the ledge. And we've got Argonaut back to the corner again, where Link is at his strongest. Very interesting matchup when this very first pulled up. I believe Ray sometimes goes over to RBA. I actually think this is Argonaut's first time coming to a Richmond event like this. I believe that's the case, actually. And Ray actually, has, I think, has a second place and a third place in his pocket. Right. Uh, he's made several deep runs. He's got a lot of good wins. Uh, but I think he wants to try and steal the deal. Yeah, that upbeat, stalling right. as long as possible, poking through the stage, a great mix up there. Ray is doing a very good job with survivability right here. A lot of the options that Argonaut is trying to throw out through out of shield is just not quite working. Yeah, and killing killing early is, a, is definitely a good skill to have, but survivability can be just as valuable. Uh, it can make your opponent overcommit and make mistakes, so they just want to get you dead. Right. Just want to see you dead. Very good trade, at least, to see. Now, let's see if Argonaut can at least try to make up the percent differential. Ray is kind of running away with this lead. Yeah, that way. Nair, what? What in the world? Link Nair? I swear, it's, uh, that's invincible. I don't care. It looks crazy. No yeah. lag, high priority. It'll fall oh, unfortunate air down there. That's scared. Yeah, the, uh, the bomb set up to the ledge. That bomb is an active hitbox for the down throw. It'll keep bouncing, and as long as it's moving, it has a hitbox. And then, of right. course, you can blow it up to confirm that hit. So looking for the oh, bubble. Oh! oh. Woo. Link Mishima. Twitter. That's right. Someone get it. He's clipping it. Yo, what's up, Ray's Twitter? How's it going? Uh, that was pretty cool. Nice down air confirmed there. That's something we've seen out of, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen T from Japan. T, the yes. letter T, not, yeah, not the, the beverage. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that T spike set up. Very good stuff from Ray. Taking game one. I don't see, I don't, I don't, I didn't see if they uh, switched stages here. We got Argonaut contemplating maybe a character switch. I don't know if they did. I'm thinking that he went to be a oh, Yep, Ooh, that's going to be a character yep. switch. Now, I don't know if he knows this, but we have a resident Rosa player uh, in Viceroy. Three, that is very two, true. However, with that being said, not go. all Rosalina Blumas players play the same. There's only, like, there's this, there's Viceroy, and who else? Yep. Yeah, there's definitely uh, definitely different ways to play the character, but it is a character where I feel like if you don't know the matchup, you can get super matchup check. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully Argonaut uh, does get a little edge here, you know, for, for his sake in the set. 
Uh, but Ray does have Vice War experience, I believe. So we'll see. It's going to be very interesting to see this. I don't know if Ray has played Wi Fi enough to actually have this matchup experience. Even then, Rosalina Luma is kind of a rare character in any regard, no matter the uh, environment. Yeah, both characters kind of a skill check. You don't see a lot of adult Link players, and you definitely don't see a lot of Rosa players in this game, even though I believe the character is extremely underrated. Uh, huge hitbox, there's very little lag on that. The Nair, the Nair is essentially Ike Nair, confirms into things and Luma. F Smash takes stock so early, and I just spoke it into existence there. Great stuff for Argonaut. Very good spacing to get into that F Smash scenario. Way looking a little shaky in this matchup experience, but if you Yep. He may be feeling himself a little bit after the combo. Maybe. Yeah, probably a little bit, you know. A little. So you got to. Confidence goes a long way in this game. He's still pushing it back a little bit. Good nair spacing. He's trying to at least maintain stage positioning. Ooh, Ooh that was a greedy up B. Looking that for was the a trump. questionable like ledge trump attempt. I, the trump successful. I think the up B a little ambitious there. Could have died for it. Fortunately uh, for Ray, Argonaut not ready to capitalize on that mistake, but is going to get stage control for his trouble. Arcanaut just knowing the spacing for Link's fares, at least getting back on stage without getting clipped. See if he can at least close it out. No Luma's on deck, but this lead there's still a up. lot of damage on both of these players. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Yep. Scooping him he off did, He didn't respect the up hit hitbox. Nope. That's and rough. of course, Link is going to be reverse that up every time on the off chance that you do happen to get clipped. It's so strong. But just look at the shield pressure that Ray is putting on, bro. Yeah, lots of safe drift back aerials coming out from Argonaut here. The forward throw. Send your send your minion out there. I'll just kidding. You you're sending your body out there. <laughs> There's the up smash. Okay. Iframes on that up smash. Very strong. Yeah. And of course, it's got the Luma hitbox. The Luma hitbox on up smash will kill you absurdly early. Oh, good respect. Yeah, I like to try to get a little bit more. Even though he didn't quite get it, he at least is getting into a good mindset that now he's starting to read a lot of his neutral and approach options. Yeah, let's see if Ray can adapt to figure something out here. I, th I almost feel like he's kind of worried to throw out projectiles more just because of the uh, grab pull. But yeah. we haven't seen too much grab pull yet, so I, I, I'd yeah. kind of like to see him give it a try at the very least. Yeah, he's being a little too aggressive about this. He hasn't... I mean, he's doing some good spottings. He's actually getting some pretty decent reads in, but he's also not necessarily playing too defensively. Ooh, that might end up biting him if Ray just adapts a little bit more. All right, this is big right here. If Argonaut can close the stock, we get a game three, but this is very doable for Ray. Oh, uh, that dare cover for double approaches. Oh, that's so bad. Pound for pound, I think maybe Link has the edge and kill power here, unless you get Luma F smash or something, but that's you know a little specific. So let's see if Argonaut can find the killing blow. Stay alive. Keep your Luma fresh there. Not going to fall off the stage. Now he's playing a little too defensively. He's kind of letting out the gas a little bit. Can you believe this gap is closed right here? We had a huge lead starting out for Argonaut, but Ray is this poking, is still even. His way, poking his way back in. Oh, the confirm off the boomerang. Okay. Good DI. Yeah, I'm going to re grab the bomb there. Okay. That was scary. Up air. It's anyone's game here. Ooh, falling Be up careful. air. Be careful for either player here. Okay, I like the back throw. Get stage control here. <gasps> the bomb! Oh, okay, and that's going to kill Luma. That's it. Oh, oh you no. That. Didn't. He wasn't ready for the dash attack to hit. And that'll be it. That should be. Oh, it. great. Oh, good right guy. The this is a scary place. It's a scary place. You didn't want yeah, to be either play here. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I lied to you guys a couple times with that last forward air. There ain't no living that. Exploding oh. off the side. That's going to be 2-0 for Ray over Argonaut. But honestly, Argonaut would be uh, pulling out the Rosa there. Doing good work. That was a pretty decent set. Um, Really good adaptation late game coming in for Ray. For Ray, yeah. Honestly, like seeing him start to connect with some of those projectile confirms at the end there. We saw the boomerang to F-Tilt. Not quite taking the stock, but... That and getting the ledge traps going. I feel like whichever character puts you on ledge, they just get that huge percent swing for them. Right. Yeah, so good stuff. We got Wadi. Wadi in the mix fighting up against Abiotic 